here and I'm back for another video. Um, last weekend I went to the UK's biggest tea party event um, run by the Tea Party Club and I had an absolutely amazing time to drop the first bombshell really um, and get it out of the way. They announced at the end of the weekend that this was going to be the last one because the original organiser is going to stop doing them so we can have to see in the future what happens but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my weekend and sh most importantly show you the stuff I got um, so I'm gonna go through stuff this is in completely random order and I'm gonna just tell you a bit about the event as well so before the weekend even started um, I met my friend and she had a couple of items that I wanted to buy off her so I'm going to include them in this haul. So this is a skirt by Metamorphose. Metamorphose is a Lolita brand, one that I wasn't actually too keen of um, because I never really saw any prints that I liked and then she showed this in her haul uh, which you'll find on her YouTube Cupcake Kamisama and um, it was in a lucky pack and I instantly fell in love with her message just straight away and said gonna have it please um, <laughs> so I have my first brand skirt um, so it's absolutely gorgeous it's got lots of pearls and keys and crowns and jewelry and roses which is generally my kind of preferred aesthetic is kind of like princess like um, can, this one hasn't got a petticoat so it looks a bit flat at the moment but um, yeah, roses and ornate beautifulness. Um, so yeah, I nabbed that off her and I'm absolutely in love with it and I can't stop wearing it. So thank you Cupcake Kamisama. From her I also bought a couple of, a couple of, a pair of um, tea party shoes. Um, these are from Antina and they are a lovely Saks blue and they will hopefully go with some of my coordinates because I don't have any in that colour. So um, at the tea party events you would get a lovely tote bag. This year it has Angelic Pretty Club on it because Angelic Pretty were there which uh, is actually fantastic because they're one of their biggest brands in the Lita fashion and we actually got to see the designers. So um, on the bag um, we've got Dream Masquerade Carnival which was the name of the event this year and um, it says on the bottom the special guests so Ime Kira, Triple Fortune and Rosemary Soir. Um, Ime Kira does absolutely amazing illustrations and she's done collaborations with Angelic Pretty. I'll show you, I've got a couple of her postcards of her designs. Um, Triple Fortune were there, they are a couple of lovely gents who um, are <laughs> really, really good at making bonnets. Um, insert picture of their amazingness here. And um, Rosemary Soir does some absolutely beautiful um, accessories and clothes. I got, got a mug with Angelic Pretty on. I was gonna say there's gonna be stuff I'm gonna forget to put in this video because I've forgotten to get it out of bags or I'm using it already but I will just try and throw you in. It's fine. Um, so in the bags there was lots of free stuff. One of my favorite things and because it was uh, designed by Angelic Pretty is this absolutely gorgeous I think it's a mouse on a cushion and it does say at the bottom Dream Masquerade Carnival Tea Party Club so these are like limited edition I guess like these won't ever exist ever again and it does say Angelic Pretty on and they are a little pocket mirror and um, I absolutely adore it it's just perfect colours and it's just so adorable I got over the weekend quite a lot of stickers um, there's a brand who was there over the weekend who had some of their stuff um, called Long Ears and Sharp Ears and I absolutely love some of their dresses and Long Ears and Sharp Ears basically represents Long Ears Rabbit and Sharp Ears Kitty Cat so I've got loads of their absolutely adorable stickers they were just everywhere so I'm gonna probably cover my phone or something there was a lovely um, stall, and I think they were called something like, oh, I said it here if I'm wrong, Twinkle Kitty Booty. But they sold um, loads and loads of really cute um, resin and uh, jewellery of different designs. This one looks like, like an Oreo, 
um, in pink, which is really, really cool. Um, so like glittery stars and bows and things. And they were selling like three for £2.50, which is brilliant. Because when you're doing like a really over the top sweet Lolita coordinate, you need lots of rings on all your fingers and you don't really want to be spending like 20 quid per ring, unless it's, you know, a really special fancy one. But I'm really glad I managed to get a load. Um, I've got a couple there that are missing, but I did get one that had like a little bear face, almost like a Rila Kuma or a, um, Kumya-chan, possibly, like little face, chocolate face. Um, so <laughs> on the second day of the event, so it was two days, this, the first day it had lots of vendors, it had fashion shows, it had fun things you could get involved with and you got to meet the um, designers and look at their stuff and have like free cake and drink and it was awesome and then the second day um it was basically a massive tea party it started a bit later in the day and we could all just chill out have tea and cake and just like take loads of photos so on the second day on our tables we all got a special gift um which <laughs> uh, we are all absolutely in love with something that people who are involved in Lolita fashion get a lot when they're out and about is can I take your photo can I have your photo or even people just coming along taking your photo and not even asking permission and this is I feel going to come in useful for many situations um it's kind of the fact that it's a bit rude to take pictures of people without you know asking their permission first so if that ever happens, we are now all fully prepared. Um, in the bag as well, um, we had a colouring book, a special colouring book that actually says Dream Masquerade Carnival on it, Tea Party Club 10, because it was 10 year anniversary. And it is beautiful. And it's got some, this is um, uh, artwork that Ime Kira does and there's some like yeah beautiful illustration there that you can color in and also this one which is really really pretty um they're absolutely gorgeous designs i probably won't color in this book i'll probably just take photocopies to be honest and you've got your own little lion and it's absolutely beautiful i'm just gonna try and keep it really safe and like really neat and tidy and not destroy it <laughs> um so let's have a look in my magical bag on the second day on our tables we get lots of freebies you see um we all got one of these beauties and uh, this says on it angelic pretty 2017 for a second i thought it said 2012 2017 london and it is an angelic pretty illustration and it's absolutely beautiful and this one is a badge so there might be a point where maybe i've got a bow badge might turn it into a um rosette rosette corsage rosette you know what i mean um but yeah absolutely awesome i don't have any coordinates that are blue red and white yet but i'm thinking i might do one at some point if i find the perfect dress um a funny random thing on my phone I have had this picture this Lolita design on my phone that I just typed into Google Lolita because I wanted a background and I am a very bad person and I didn't look into actually who the picture was by and I walked past a store this time and then I saw it and um, this is what has been the background of my phone for maybe six months or so maybe longer it needs to focus a bit um, and I found out that this was actually um, by Lady Sloth and they are a designer of, of goods and um, the graphic is designed by Antigia, I've probably pronounced that wrong but um, yes, so I'm at, I saw the picture and I was like ah that picture I haven't seen it I don't know where it's from and it's on my phone so I'm really glad I've got a postcard of it now and I can stick it up and enjoy it because it is I I just love the design of it I love the fact they're wearing rocking horse shoes because I, aesthetically I find rocking horse shoes very Lolita pleasing if that makes sense um we also got, oh I should do this later, a really really pretty package with little butterflies on and inside it says on it, Tea Party Club um, 
and it is a bath bomb which is wonderful and it also actually says about the tea party club annual oh so they're actually from the annual the annual gave us all a little gift and it's also to like remind us that there will be a book released for us all um, from this year so I'm excited to see that because there'll be lots of really good photos in it and um, uh, articles and stuff so yeah that's that last year's was brilliant I absolutely loved it there was a photo booth uh, there on the Saturday where it was kind of like when you do Purikura, Purikura, I can't talk. And um, I mean, David did it while we were in Japan and I haven't shown you that yet, but I will. And uh, myself and my friend Dream Fortress, uh, find her on Instagram, we decided to do it and it was a lot of laughs and um, it was very, very amusing. And uh, it had lots of different backgrounds. This one here is the amusing one because we were we were doing um, embarrassing behaviour moment and we were showing too much petty and um, yes it was it was rather a giggle rather a giggle um, but yeah I absolutely love this and this is very very special and kind of like sums up my relationship with my my lovely friend <laughs> so thank you for doing it with me. Uh, what else have we got? Okay, we've got some Imekira um, postcards that I bought from her. Um, they are absolutely adorable. Her work is absolutely stunning. Um, absolutely beautiful work she does. And here's another one with a carousel pony. Absolutely gorgeous. And the last one, oh, this is the one in the colouring book. Um, she actually signed it for me, which was very, very sweet of her. Um, Oh, it was a very very precious she was uh, such a sweetie I also found uh, this I think was on the lady sloth stool I think I think she gave me this one from the lady lady sloth stool oh yes yes it says lady sloth in there that that's helpful but I'm um, loving the chocolate coordinateness there um, I have like loads and loads of little cards sorry the lighting is not great this time of day um, loads of cards which I then put all together and make really nice pin boards if you want to see any of my pin boards let me know here's another one uh, from Lady Sloth which is really cute they're holding like these little mice figures it's so adorable um, what else have we got oh yeah there's Lady Sloth and the lovely business card sorry lights and I have more stuff here um, sorry I was getting distracted and trying to concentrate so um a lot of people know that Gothic and Lolita Bible has gone out of print they've stopped publishing and so everybody's like what are we gonna do for a Lolita magazine and then suddenly melt um, arrived and I wanted this magazine when I saw everybody talking about it and everyone mentioning how it had a free baby the starshine bright bag so um, wonderfully um, on the triple fortune store they had these and I got it and I got the lovely little baggie I wanted more for the bag than anything and it was like um, it was 18 pounds and I know from like ordering from Japan you can get it for 10 but then shipping so you know it's not too bad for a bag like 18 pounds for a brand bag like I'm happy with that and it's so beautiful it has lots of cherries and cherries and strawberries and fruitiness and I'm very very fruity right now um, <laughs> but yeah the magazine is fantastic it has lots of beautiful J fashion going on in there and at the beginning there's some more Lolita there. So, yeah loving that magazine it's really nice to just have something I can flick through so obviously um, Angelic Pretty were actually at the event and I didn't buy anything from them when I went to Japan actually from their shop but I've been eyeing up um, some socks of theirs on the Paris site and I actually saw them on their stall in person so these are beautiful I can't remember what they're called it's, I think it might be princess socks it's princess something anyway um, these are beautiful they've got a very very delicate um, white sort of lacy design on they are like cotton um, so they look like that on the front and they really wanted some with frills at the top and then on the back 
it's got a different pattern going down the back and then it ends in a lovely bow just above the ankle and I love socks that have that sort of detail just above the ankle so I'm really really glad that I got hold of these um, from their actual store because I was going to order them anyway so I actually bought something directly from them yay so there's a couple more things let's just have a look see um in my baggage baggage oh yeah on the sunday um we <laughs> were given on our tables um tattoos they're like transfer tattoos angelic pretty tattoos now i actually really love the design of these so much that I don't want to waste them as a tattoo. I'm going to keep them with the plastic on and I'm going to cut them out very delicately and I'm going to turn them into a phone case because I'm sad like that and I don't like wasting things. Um, here are some more lovely business cards. All the business cards are just pretty. Oh, I forgot something. I bought a pair of bloomers. I'm currently wearing them, but um, to describe them to you, they are like pumpkin pant kind of style bloomers. They are pale pink. They are from, I believe it is, Oh, I might have got it wrong. I can't remember. Um, but, but they um, are absolutely lovely. If I can remember who they're from, I will put see a thing here. Um, it is either by Sweet Sakura or... Um, oh, what was the other one? I can't remember. But um, yeah, I absolutely love them. They're really stretchy. I got them for £25. They're pink and they've got little roses on the front. So yay! Um, sorry, this video is going to be a long one. Just because hauls are long, I can't help it. I'm trying to make my video shorter, but failing failing badly i'm just checking to see if there's anything left in my bag i think everything is pretty much business cards of prettiness uh atelier pastel chan really pretty long ears sharp ears um there was a lot of vendors there there were a lot of remote vendors so the actual people who designed the stuff weren't there but they had their products there and someone else was on the store for them um so that's yeah that's pretty much what's in my bag and then i've got just i think one more thing to show you um so i absolutely oh no two more things yay <laughs> it's not over yet um i saw this on the bring and buy it is an angelic pretty necklace and it's just glittery minty green and lovely candy shaped heart in the middle and lovely pearls and I just think it's lovely it could go with so many things and it is a big plastic bow um my only problem was I, the first time I tried putting it on the the clasp thing snapped but luckily because I do jewelry making I have lots of these in my box and I will replace it and fix it so problem solved my last thing is I guess I could say my Probably my favourite item I bought from the weekend. I probably would say that. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Um, so um, there is a brand called Tokimeki and they do handcrafted, um, yeah, handcrafted resin jewellery. Um, and each piece is unique because it is handcrafted, funnily enough. Um, and uh, you know I am fascinated with bunny rabbits. I have a sad story that one of my rabbits passed away a couple of days before DMC. And I kind of wanted something to remember her by. Um, and uh, I got this beautiful Tokimeki bunny rabbit um, on a chain. And um, it's kind of like looks more like a hair because the ears are long. But I am so in love with rabbits that I, I just had to get it. Um, I guess it was more uh, more of an expensive purchase. It was like 30, 35 to 32 pounds. Um, I don't know if you can see the detail. But uh, yeah, I had to had to get it. I saw it and I saw this like design, but in a couple of different, slightly different ways because it's handcrafted. And this one just like had the right face to me. Um, it need, the bunny face is what is important and um, I'm just going to try and get the light right for you try and light. there we go, that's a bit better so you can see the detail but um, that bunny rabbit is really super adorable and I love the cape that will specifically go really well with my Baroque Ridiculous Circus my bunny rabbit circus that one there um, and also all the other dresses that I have a rabbits on. <laughs> um, so yeah, my favourite little thing and it's super cute. Um, so the weekend was super amazing and I'm really, really sad it is over. 
but I'm really hoping someone will pick up where they left off and continue with some nice massive tea party events um so yeah also randomness uh this wig uh which i haven't brushed particularly well is for sale i am selling it on the uk uh facebook site or if you actually really really want it let me know i'm only selling it because i got a lock shop wig that is quite similar um thank you very very much for watching this um i hope you enjoyed like the little clips and stuff throughout this video um take care and see you soon Bye! Come back for more cute carré loneliness!